Thank you for coming to pay me a visit. You know I've been waiting for quite some time. When you enter my home, I wish you would take off your shoes. In turn, I will attempt to make my words deliberate and take off the shoes of my voice. I was a trophy of war, you see. Once a symbol of peace and serenity, history has exposed my alter ego. I have shape-shifted into a memento of the celebration of my country's ruin. It is hard not to think of myself as some ill-intended spectacle for your consumption. Eyes that gorge me up and spit me out, I remain the ultimate witness to cognitive dissonance. 130 years I've laid trapped in a room filled with an assortment of objects assembled during different regimes, according to the whims of whoever held power. But thankfully, my creator did not open my eyes. I've not had to behold the other prisoners in this cell. I'm unburdened by mere vision that my eyelids can shield. I'm sorry you've had to see me. The role of the senses has been neglected here. I'm behind a cage of glass, a fortress to stop you from touching my cool marble skin. No one to smell the desperation of the dust that clings to my every crevice. They are punishing me for their own institutional angst of losing relevance and the realization that there is nothing left of me to extract. Their entire ideology might collapse at the very mention of my escape, but I have been neutered. Selective narratives start to resemble definitive histories that I find myself beginning to believe. Webs of coloniality intertwined with our era, the only thing separating us being a slight amnesia of our shared history. I've been bubble wrapped in a revisionist empathy for my captors. Those like me who are assumed to be incapable of agency stand as a cautionary tale. But modernity will be haunted by our ghosts.